In the region of Giza, Egypt, is an ancient site. And you can join us in March of 2018 as we explore, once again, many ancient sites in Egypt. We're on our way through this small town to a location you probably never heard of. It's called Abu Sir, and it's a site of great antiquity that has dynastic works as well as evidence of lost ancient high technology, which would in fact be older than any of the dynastic works. Again, it's called Abu Sir, and you need special permission, which we were able to get in order to visit it. This is at Abu Sir itself, and as you can see, it's been terribly decimated over, over the course of time from invading armies, um, people simply using the ancient site as a quarry. And here you see pillars, which are made of granite. The granite itself came from Aswan, which is likely 500 miles away. And we also see evidence, and abundant evidence in this location, especially of strange drill holes in very hard stone, which again, could not have been done by the dynastic Egyptians. These are tube drill holes, which would have to at least be embedded with diamonds in order to achieve such size and such depth. So the mystery is, who was the culture that had technology of this level thousands of years before our time and thousands of years before the time of the dynastic Egyptians? Very straight through. Beautiful. So here you see the level of the devastation of invading cultures and armies, and such a sad sight to see. However, there is also evidence that a massive cataclysm of some kind struck this site actually prior to dynastic times, and the timeline we're looking at is 12,000 years ago. Look at the weird erosion on these limestone posts as if they were burned by something. And then also these amazing granite stone boxes, one which is shattered, but the other is almost intact. In order to get at them, you have to go down through this hole, and down this chute, and out the other end. Now the crispness of the edges and the flat surfaces could not have been achieved with hand tools. So we are looking at some form of advanced technology being employed in order to shape these surfaces. The edges are incredibly crisp after thousands of years and the curved surfaces are perfectly curved. There are no depressions, no protrusions. So again, it's a mystery as to who did this work, but that's why we encourage you to come with us in March of 2018 and see for yourself. Again, we have these strange, heavily eroded surfaces. So here at Abu Sir, what I've been showing is the fact that in general, uh, this site is dynastic. Everything lines up north, south, east, and west. However, there are pre-dynastic elements here that are 23 degrees off north, south, east, and west. And that goes along with my um, theory about a massive cataclysm happening here in the Giza Plateau area 12,000 years ago. Uh, the major damage from this cataclysm seems to be here in what is more or less the center of the ancient 
land called Boo Wizard or the land of Osiris. And then when we go south and north, the damage becomes less and less. Um, at one end you have Dashur with the Bent Pyramid and the Red Pyramid. The skin of the pyramids is sloughed off. And then the other direction, you go to the Giza Plateau, same thing. The three great pyramids are still there, generally intact, but the skin or casing stone is missing. Seems out of place, doesn't it? Just sit yeah. Well, you see all the saw marks in this? So those saw marks that you saw would um, require diamond level of technology because the stone is basalt or possibly even a harder silt stone of some kind. And that's not something, as you know by now, that the dynastic Egyptians had. So they clearly inherited ancient sites that appear to have been devastated by some cataclysmic activity. And that, of course, is recounted in my book, Aftershock. What we can see here is clear marking of a circular giant saw. We can see from the pattern here that it's circling, and we can see that the lines also are all continuing in a circular, not a straight line. And when we talk about if we complete this circle, it's not going to be less than 8 meters, right? Yeah. It cannot be less than... Eight meters wide. It was at least 20 feet in diameter and three sixteenths of an inch thick. Yeah. And it's penetrated the stone two millimeters per revolution, which is 500 times more efficient than what we have in the 21st century. Yeah. So again, no scenes on the walls displayed any method of cutting the stones using a saw. We only understood this from the marking of the stone on the saw itself, from the marking of the tool on the surface of the stone. Also, if we want to know <coughs> how thick that tool was, we can look here from the corner, and you can see part that is still curving back on the higher part here. You see that? That will tell us the, how thick this blade was, which was probably around four millimeter thick. That's huge to, to take the, 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 this kind of machining, the heat, the scratches from uh, circling. So we don't believe copper can be able to do this. We cannot see also the scenes, but we want to make more uh, uh, like experiments about this type of a stone and the... Another obvious question is where does this stone come from? And according to our geologist Susan Moore, and according to the Geology Museum in Cairo, the Eastern Desert, a deposit at least 200 kilometers away. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe as you look at another ancient saw mark of using some level of high technology, and come with us to Egypt in March of 2018. Being there is a thousand times more interesting than looking at this video or looking at photos of the evidence. Being there makes a huge difference. Upcoming tours at Hidden Inca Tours. Elongated Skulls of Peru in August. A fabulous cruise on the Pacific coast of Mexico with many guest speakers, including myself. Exploring Peru and Bolivia with Robert Boval and Hugh Newman. Mexico in January of 2018. 
And yes, Egypt in March of 2018, the only tour of Egypt of its kind. And here are some relevant books at Amazon. Lost Ancient Technology of Egypt, which includes Abusir. Lost Ancient Technology of Peru and Bolivia. And Aftershock, The Ancient Cataclysm That Erased Human History. All available in ebook and paperback formats.